ओम भूर्भुवस्वतत्सवितोरवरेणियम वर्गो देवश धीमह धीयो यो न प्रचोदया ओम शांति 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 नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज वीडियो नंबर फोर ऑन द लाइफ बियॉन्ड फिजिकल डेथ दिस वीडियो स्टार्ट्स विद चैप्टर सिक्स घोस्ट एंड स्प्रिट्स हियर वाइल मैंशनिंग अबाउट घोस्ट एंड स्प्रिट्स इट इज इम्प्लाइड दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द इनविजिबल ह्यूमन बींग्स whose physical body sthul shreed have since become dead there is a vague notion that after death all living persons turn into a ghost or a spirit this is however not true many are released from the bondage of human births some find themselves in heaven still others fall into a comfortable sleep for rest very few individuals turn into ghost hindu scriptures refer to the word preet ghost in derogatory terms this class is specified as the pap yoni sinners species when one of the following three types of infatuations vasanas overpower a living person to the extreme limits the soul of the dead breaks the normal chain of events in progressive evolution and instead of moving forward goes backwards in time deviating from the normal course in which it should have passed through periods of rest experiences of hell and heaven and preparations for next birth the soul tries to return to the environment of life before death on account of excessive fondness to the earlier living environment extraordinary attachment to some favorite person extreme jealousy or enmity the soul becomes static in its evolution the urge of the inner self chitta implores it to move forward but disregarding it it adamantly sticks to this state the life long burden of deeds karmas and tiredness make it very uneasy and perturbed desires emanating from resentment and enmity to frustrations on leaving the body to which it was unduly attached to our no less reasons for its misery besides since the person was too much materialistic in life substantial amount of physical matter is also brought forward by the soul in its otherwise extra material form from its erstwhile body of the world it makes the being crave for material enjoyment affiliation of previous life and longing for sensual appeasement make the soul intentionally oppressed anxious and dejected and it keeps on wandering from place to place as ghost we are sometimes told that a particular place is haunted that someone has been possessed by a spirit or that there is a poltergeist creating disturbance in most cases the spirits are reported to harm rather than help 
it indicates that spirits are generally emotionally disturbed beings as mentioned earlier the soul falls into this wretched state because of excessive sensibility or infatuation with a person place or object individuals craving for good food having addictions to drinks or drugs abnormal interest in entertainment a mania for sex in fact makes themselves a slave to bad habits even while living in this world on being deprived of the physical body after death the spirit watches these activities helplessly and finding persons having similar infatuations use later as medium for satisfying their own desires through the body of the living person since the desires of such departed spirits are of a very low order they especially wander around brothels gambling and drinking dens and other socially ostracized places visitors to such places secretly and unknowingly become possessed by such spirits temporarily though the former remain unaware they know that a visit to such places of addiction excites their desire extraordinarily ghosts and spirits do exist but their number is not large in many cases reported encounters with ghosts turn out to be projections of personal imageries to a weak mind every moment in the dark simulates a ghost this self hypnosis the this self hypnosis about being possessed by a ghost cannot be removed without giving an equally strong counter suggestion to the mind of the sufferer people in background people in backward undeveloped areas where the masses are ignorant and uneducated suffer more from such conceptual haunting among us the educated it is a rare phenomena when spirits become visible to the living persons or make their presence felt they draw the elements of matter for their manifestation from these very persons who are haunted the spirits have the capacity to draw out physical elements from the living persons whenever the former desire to materialize they drain out matter from the living for molding their shape medical examination of persons undergoing a haunting experience would show a loss in body weight decrease in body temperature and subdued biological activity except for the persons who know the signs of compensating this loss repeated haunting is not healthy for an ordinary man it produces biological shocks which can lead to dangerous consequences fear which prevents the human and the spirits to interact is a great blessing of god had it not been so spirits would have been living in each house like birds rats and ants in that case the process of evolution of the dead as well as living persons would have stopped and both would have remained spiritually stagnated because of the worldly ties of attachment god does not expect us to be unduly attached to the temporal relationships of this world and desires us to keep on moving towards progressive evolution by performing our duties 
towards mankind for moving forward one is required to leave the ground behind and place one's leg on the space ahead this is the natural process of all forward movements hence progress means never looking back to the past there is a local belief in india that the feet of the ghost point backwards it means instead of establishing a new relationship the ghost look backwards to old life at times the bioelectric units of a living person personify into an independent figure e3 double of the theo theosophist the moment we enter a house we intuitively feel the psychic field of its inhabitant since the invisible radiations of their psychic energy manavya these are present there and our own psychic field interacts with the former places where acts of great violence to place retain the residual charge of the psychic energy of the persons involved for years devastation by fire forced abortions infanticides and other such criminal acts make even the bricks and masonry of the place of even cry in silence sufferings of oppressed persons long since dead personify into spirits and terrify the people living at the place of event at times appearing in dream when they are asleep many houses are considered haunted and people living there in come across coast at inhabited places however generally images projected by someone's extreme happiness enmity anger anguish or attachment mamta are seen the real spirits prefer to stay in isolation far from noisy places only in specific circumstances and for particular objective they make their presence felt ghost of lower order degraded souls of ordinary persons can at the most afflict a mental shock suddenly terrifying a person or even making him sick with fear on account of their low bio energy such spirits can neither make themselves clearly visible nor inflict physical harm it is however possible for them to hurt children substantially since the latter do not possess a strong will to counteract the evil influence because of abundance of evil traits they create only trouble for others then there is a middle class of ghost which is more powerful and imposing they have the capacity to manifest in many shapes and forms lift and move material objects portal just satisfy their desires by taking possession of the body of person or make a person deranged or sick the most elevated class of spirits veer brahma rakshasa betal pitar etc can also help a person provide relief from the lower class of ghost and inform about known and unknown events if persuaded they may also inform about future events but such predictions are not always reliable a spirit has no capacity to cast a spell curse or grant a boon since it lacks the spiritual energy required for such great endeavors human bodies and other living systems have specific energy fields halos which interact with the energy fields of other beings coming in contact with their spheres of influence 
each particle radiating from this energy field is capable of producing an independent living entity sthiti srishti sometimes in case of person having extraordinarily strong psychic power manobat these particles are very strongly charged emanating from the body of the person they create an embryonic clone which is left undisturbed by the energy fields of other persons grow in lonely un uninhabited places intensifying into permanent living image of the person such spirits are found haunting ruins thousands of years old the soul of the person in the meantime could have gone through several cycles of life and death yet the clone produced by the residual high energy particles get an opportunity to grow independently where people live their energy fields displace the earlier ones blessings and curse of individuals possessing spiritually elevated souls messengers of divinity saints angels and super persons to create energy fields personifying as independent living beings there are many such events described in indian scriptures the ire of shiva producing veer bhadras emergence of a sea demon rakshasi from the hairs of durvasa for punishing embrys are examples of mental images projected as personified living beings manas putra an intense reaction of a tormented person may also personify and strangle the tormentor we are hardly aware of boons blessings and good wishes of living and dead persons living with us as invisible deities and helping us in our moments of distress individuals in explicably surviving serious accidents testify to this phenomena like spirits strong opinions of other persons about us whether good or bad at times help us invisibly or materially as there are many types of ghosts and spirits so are numerous other living entities in the astral world they do not cross our path unnecessarily but we do provide them an opportunity to do so because of our mental pollutants ghost find it easy to possess the person who suffer from weakness of will excessive fear superstition or weak psychic force if your soul is strong is not timid because of indulges indulgence in sin the poor ghost can hardly do you any harm domination by evil spirits and exorcism as discussed in the earlier chapters ordinary persons and those following a sinful lifestyle if overwhelmed with un fulfilled desires pain or personal attachment at the moment of death are made to live as the species of astral world known to us as ghost or spirits preet yoni in this state the spiritual evolution of the soul virtually becomes static instigated by unfulfilled desires enmity expressed resentment etc such individuals try to unload their burden by trying to make the living persons suffer harmed or terrorized then there are a few who become ghosts because of their 
excessive infatuations in worldly life and desire to live in the last environment and with the people they like. The latter category of ghost, though do not harm yet keep on requesting for small favors for fulfillment of their desires. The spirits having a non-material existence cannot consume material food and liquids like human beings, yet they are unable to get rid of their sensual pleasures of human life experienced during past cycles of birth and intend to enjoy the same. We come across persons who though on deathbed desire to eat various types of delicacies which they are hardly able to consume. The ghosts are more or less in the same state. They wish to relieve the experience of human body but their present ethereal body does not let them do it. Thus the soul inhabiting a tree cannot have the experience is possible for an animal and vice versa. The sense organs of various life forms function differently. Since the soul that is pretty is not able to fulfill a strong desire, it becomes restless and frustrated and feeling resentful towards people in the neighborhood for not helping it tries to terrorize. However, exceptionally, some spirits behave in different manner. At the moment of death, certain individuals become emotionally mature, particularly old persons who leave behind younger children retain an attitude of patronage, fondness and forgiveness towards the living. They also have very few unsatiated desires at that is such benevolent spirits living in a particular house try to help its inhabitants, warn them about impending disasters through dreams or clairvoyance and extend whatever little help they are capable of. Knowingly, they never harm any friend or relative of a real life. Human mind naturally finds contentment in helping others achieve that which could not be done for one's own self. The grown-up persons derive pleasure in watching their children play with toys in the same manner the benevolent spirit sometimes desire the living persons to be entertained. It relieves them of their misery to a certain extent. Seven kinds of spirit encounters. A reported phenomena of haunting may or may not be actually related to an encounter with a spirit. Such sightings can be classified into seven categories. Number one, the imaginary ghost which a person visualizes by virtue of a strong auto-suggestion, fear, apprehension, belief or conviction. Shankalp. Number two, a psychic disorder producing a hallucination. Number three, Clones produced by the bioelectric particles of the dead. 4. The demons, Pishats, which are perpetually restless because of unsatiated desires, lust or revengeful attitude in life. 5. The beings which are excessively infatuated with their past glory. Please, family or friends. 6. Spirits personified as Chaya, Prush, Yakshini, Jenny, etc. for particular objective by the exorcist, tantrics by occult practices and seven, the liberated souls which help by 
providing inspirations and help in endeavor of human welfare among us the foregoing the spirits belonging to the initial five categories do nothing but harm people the fifth one may help or harm person whereas the sixth and the seventh are always benevolent let us now learn a little about each one and know how to get rid of them number one the imaginary ghost it is personification of one's own fear when intensified terror or apprehension develops into a conviction it takes the shape of a visual image under hypnosis an individual can be made to see things which do not exist a terrified person makes out a human figure out of a bush in darkness fear creates confusion in mind and apprehensions produce living images perceptible to senses in this way eyes and ears record audio visual signals generated in one's own mind as those coming from without the skin feels as though the subject is being touched grabbed or possessed by a spirit when the mind is weak and susceptible whatever is imagined appears real thus persons troubled by imaginary sightings of ghosts do not have the least doubt about the reality of the event for them everything actually happens in this state whenever the level of fear or apprehension crosses a certain threshold the ghost is perceived and it also creates disturbance of various kinds psychosomatic disorders error bookmark not defined third clones created by residual bioenergy seeds of a plant fallen on the ground remain inactive for some period and sprout in the next favorable season likewise the residual charge left over by the bioelectric particles of certain extraordinary persons or abnormal events involving strong emotional outburst in people persist for a very long period in the inanimate objects of the house or related place finding an appropriate environment these particles become reactivated and clone into a virtual living image of a person dead or alive let me illustrate this phenomenon with an experience of my own once a certain gentleman came to my seeking my advice on a recurring dream in which he saw a beautiful woman forcing him to have sex with her this man a person of high character could not even entertain a thought about such an immoral sinful act he became much more perturbed when one day he saw the woman of his dream in a red light area inquiries revealed that the house in which he had lately shifted in was previously occupied by that woman of ill repute i advised this gentleman to vacate the house since the bioelectric particles therein were cloning the woman in his dream the man left the house and his obnoxious dream ceased an ancient historical places and places of pilgrimage at times flashes of personalities of your are seen living images of saints appear before the devotees visitors to shiva kunj in vrindavan up india sometimes see 
रास लीला बीइंग परफॉर्मड बाय श्री कृष्ण सिमिलरली एट कुरुक्षेत्र इंद्रप्रस्थ एंशिएंट कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ महाभारत एरा हैव बीन ऑब्जर्वड द प्लेसेस ऑफ पिलग्रिमेजेस आर स्पेशली चार्ज्ड विद स्पिरिचुअलिटी ऑफ फेमस सुपर पर्सनस ऑफ योर सेंट्स थिंकर्स एवॉल्ड सोल्स who had lived at such places the spiritual charge left during the long life long activities creates a lasting field and motivates the devotees and pilgrimages from the foregoing it is evident that the phenomena related to haunting by spirits are generally found at places where human body have been abnormally used the environment around places of cremation execution slaughter houses etc is particularly eric eri because of the abnormal use of the body instrument some of its particles are permanently absorbed by the place of event and become manifest from time to time the mental body of persons coming in the vicinity of such places interacts with these energy particles and creates various experiences of fear and intimidation at places where people were killed or some other such violent activities like tortures were carried similar dreadful environments is environment is created the people concerned in such cases might have died long ago and reborn elsewhere or may even be living at the moment yet the clones produced by their sukshma shariras astral bodies continue to live and behave like them independently for long periods appearing in the fields of perception of living persons from time to time such clones may also react violently like other evil spirits sensually dissatisfied souls fourth spirits of persons who die with expressed desires specially terrorize their close associates of earlier life since being familiar with them and because of earlier experience they think it feasible to satisfy their unquenched desires through the former such spirits seek association of earlier life for a variety of reasons some wish to eat or drink according to their taste of previous life a few seek a coat yard tree or some other suitable place to live yet others who are interested in virtuous activities like giving alms performing pilgrimages visiting shrines etc motivated by interacting with the astral body of the living such spirits may create disturbance to achieve their purpose and calm down as soon as their desire is fulfilled spirits of this class of untroubled persons who deliberately or unknowingly desecrate their place of living they especially become more aggressive around noon or middle of night such spirits may react to settle some score of previous life 5 the infatuated soul individuals who are very much attached to certain persons in life to inhabit the pratyoni species of spirits after death and who around the place of living of their favorite ones they take pleasure in fighting their loved ones enjoying life they never harm anyone but rather warn their favorite persons in moments of danger and at times even help them in parlance of spirituality such spirits are known as pitar most of such benevolent spirits of persons who died at an old age are harmless 
On the other hand, persons dying in their youth with very strong and selfish desires wish to drag their dear ones to their own status of breath yoni. With this motive, they may even plan to kill their favorites. It is particularly true of young women who die leaving behind young children as orphans. The infatuation to live with their children in the astral world motivates them to do so. 6. The Spiritual Robots By practicing disciplines of Tantra, Exorcism in Western parlance, is parlance Spiritual Robots, Chaya Prusha, are either created or various types of powerful spirits and divine powers brought under control or personani, personified Bhairvi, Bhavani, Betal, Peer, Jani, Pisachini and the like of them for achieving a particular objective, acquiring some desired objects or punishing someone in some way. Such spiritual robots personified by self-rejection of mind, Sankalpa, Pratima, do not have a mind of their own. They work at the command of their creators like a robot. The Tantric Exorcist creates and controls their invisible robots by energizing this own psychic energies, occult power by practicing for long disciplines of sadhana with strict procedures in spite of their being willful creation of the tantric manas putra such robots appear to have an independent existence of their own the capability of the genic the capability of the jenny created and its strength naturally depend on the Sradha, infallible conviction and sadhana, practice of discipline of spirituality, occultism. The spiritual robot created by a psychically weakest individual may be overpowered by another one, produced by a more powerful person and defeat the purpose of the former. Tantrics in India use such robots for many dreadful objective objective like killing the adversary by the device known as Maran. Number 7. The Liberated Souls About the souls of persons who had died after living a contented life, much has been said in the earlier chapters. Spirits of such persons are ever engaged in motivating people to follow the path of virtue. They feel happy in finding persons engaged in virtuous activities and help them in their progress. There are quite a few Siddha Mahatmas, achieved saints and Mahapurushas, super souls moving around in the invisible astral world helping human beings in their welfare activities. Having known about the seven types of spirits, the reader would conclude that with the exception of the liberated soul, all other are more harmful than beneficial to the living persons. There is no need to discuss the merits of the liberated souls since everyone likes being helped by but when someone is being harmed by an even spirit, there is a cause for consternation and we have to think of remedial measures. So I conclude this video here. Please like, comment and share the video. Subscribe the channel. Namaskar my dear friends.